Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to integrate e to the power 2x times sine x with respect to x. In this video, we are going to apply the tabular method or more commonly known as the TI method. E stands for differentiation, I stands for integration. We can split this function into two functions, one exponential function, one trigonometric function. Since regardless how many times we differentiate these functions, they will not eventually reach zero. So we can simply put exponential function under t, trigonometric function under i. Let's differentiate e to the power of 2x. Differentiate exponential function, we can copy exactly the same. And differentiate the power, we obtain 2. Integrate sine, we obtain negative cos. Differentiate again, so we have e to the power of 2x. 2 should remain. And we differentiate the power, we obtain 2 again. So 2 times 2, we obtain 4. And integrate negative cos x, we obtain negative sine x. Since we obtain the common functions as the first row, where we have e to the power 2x under d and sine x under i. So basically, we can stop here and determine the joint function. Firstly, take e to the power 2x times negative cos x and the result, negative e to the power 2x cos x. Next, we have 2 times e to the power 2x times negative sine x and the result negative 2 e to the power 2x sine x. And don't forget that under the di method, the sine should be alternately plus minus plus. So which means that plus times negative, 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 positive. And we can now write this is equal to minus e to the power 2x cos x plus 2 e to the power 2x sine x. And don't forget that none of the functions in the last row is equal to 0, which means that we have integral remain. Plus minus minus integrate 4 e to the power 2x sine x with respect to x. And now let's rewrite this equation and bring all the integrals to the left. So we have integrate e to the power 2x sine x dx minus bring over to the left become plus. We can take out the constant 4 and integrate e to the power 2x sine x with respect to x and this is equal to the remaining terms minus e to the power 2x cos x plus 2 e to the power 2x sine x. Next, let's simplify both sides. So we have 1 plus 4 which is equal to 5 and times integrate e to the power 2x sine x with respect to x. And this is equal to the right hand side since we have common factor e to the power 2x we can factorize. And this remain minus cos x plus 2 sine x. And what we have to do next is to divide both sides by 5 the constant here. So 5 over 5, we obtain 1. So 1 times anything, we get back the same thing. So we have integrate e to the power 2x times sine x with respect to x, and this is equal to 1 over 5 times e to the power 2x times minus cos x plus 2 sine x. Since the integration is complete, so we can plus the constant c and hence we done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.